Welcome to our video. Today we are going to be showing you how to print out shipping labels from FedEx.com on Windows using your 2054A. But before you watch this video, please make sure that your 2054A printer is configured correctly. If it's not, then you will run into some issues. The video link to configure the printer will be in the description below. I am using Google Chrome browser because from my experience, it is super fast and super responsive. And more importantly, you have a lot more flexibility as far as printing settings are concerned. When you go to FedEx.com to create your shipping labels, the confirm your shipment details would be the last page you would see before purchasing your labels. We press ship and you land on this page. And we can see our shipping label. Make sure that label is checked and receipt is unchecked. Press print and Chrome's printer dialog will pop up. If you want to print your label directly from the browser, here are the settings you want to pay attention to. First, make sure that the destination is set to your label printer. Layout is landscape. Under more settings, paper size is 4x6, margins is none, and scale is 200. Background graphics is unchecked. Now, if you look at our preview, the label is actually on the second page. And the label is what we are trying to print out. So under pages instead of all, I'm going to type in page 2 because our label is on page 2. Now if yours is on page 1, then you want to change this to 1. Whichever page your label is on, that's the page number you want to put in this field or else you are going to end up wasting some extra labels. Once that's set, go ahead and press print and your label should print out. You can stick this onto your package and send it off and it would work just fine. But if you notice something, the graphic doesn't fill up the entire shipping label. If you want the sizing and quality to be perfect, then we have to go through some extra steps. For this next part of the tutorial, you're going to need Adobe Reader. It's free, so if you don't have Adobe Reader, the download link for the program will be in the description. Go back to the page where you print your label and press print. Your settings should be saved from our previous print, but here it doesn't matter all that much. Just make sure of two things. For the destination, instead of your printer, you want to choose download as PDF, and scale should be at least 100. Orientation doesn't matter too much. When you press print, instead of printing, it will download to your computer as a PDF. Find your downloaded file and open it as Adobe Acrobat Reader. To continue with this tutorial, take a look at our next video on how to print out the perfect shipping labels from PDF format. You can click on the ending card or you can also find it as a link in the description. We'll see you there.